And then what do I do? What do I do when people start to join? Anything? Say that again. What do you do when people start to join? Yeah, so I see we already have two attendees who have joined thus far. So I usually wait around for a little bit to make sure that everyone has time to join before we go ahead and get started. So thank you to the students who have joined us currently. We're going to give a few minutes to make sure everyone can join, and then we'll go ahead and get started with the community call presentation. Aspen, I'll, once we get to a point where I think we've got a good amount of students joined ahead and intro you and CCP and do all the housekeeping and we'll get started. Great. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. We're gonna allow just another minute or two to make sure all of our students are able to join us before we started, so hang tight. Awesome. Well, it looks like we've got quite a few students with us here today. So thank you for joining us to Community College of Philadelphia. My name is Darby. I work with the Study Me platform, which is, I assume, how all of these students came to be here via the Study Me platform. So it's great. We're super excited to tell tell you a little bit more about Community College of Philadelphia. We have 
Aspen Jacoby here, who is going to be presenting. Um, before I hand it over to her to start, a few housekeeping things. If you have any questions about the presentation, please do not refrain from writing them into the Q&A feature of Zoom. You'll find it in your little Zoom toolbar along with your chat and um, like raising your hand, all those features. There's something called Q&A. So go ahead and write in there. Uh, at the end of Aspen's presentation, we will allow a few minutes of Q&A so you're able to ask your questions then as well to address all questions. The webinar will also be recorded, so should you want to come back, friend, anything like that, we will record it and send it out to you after the presentation. So with that, I will give it over to Aspen to start her presentation. Thanks very much, Darby. Thanks, everyone, for joining. I'm super excited to be here to talk about the Community College of Philadelphia and all that it has to offer. Uh, Community College of Philadelphia is right in the heart of the city, and staff members refer to it as CCP. Uh, so a few times you'll hear me say CCP as well, so you'll know that that is Community College of Philadelphia. Uh, this is a picture, which I think is really cool because it's right downtown. Um, the building itself, uh, the campus itself is right downtown, but you actually are looking at the city skyline as soon as you're coming out of um, the, this is the student hub center where there's like cafeterias, bookstores, um, study sessions, things, all, all areas that students gather um, for clubs, activities. There are classrooms in here as well, but majority of the time this is this hub for students that are on campus. A little bit of background about uh, the Community College of Philadelphia. Uh, so there is um, 30,000 plus students. Um, not all of them are full-time enrolled, uh, but most of them are taking courses either in the certificate program or in one of their more than 50, 60 degree plans. They have an Associate of Arts, an Associate of Science, and then an Applied Associate of Science as well. Uh, to give students the opportunity to find their chosen path. Um, everything is uh, right on the college campus itself. As you can see, people are walking hub, um, throughout the hub and over to the six, very six different buildings on the campus to allow students to come and go from math, science, any, any variety of uh, general education classes that are being taken. Uh, Philadelphia is a very diverse city as well as their campus is diverse. And so when we have 30,000 students, you'll see students from over 200, uh, 200 international students on a, on a regular basis, but from 50 different countries. They're striving to increase that uh, enrollment up to 500. And so you'll see more and more diversity on the, on the college campus as the semesters grow. Um, where they are accredited. It's a great institution right in the heart of the city. So you're going to give the opportunity to have the best education to access any of your classes at a reduced rate. Uh, community college tends to be less expensive uh, than a university. But one thing that is really, really great about this specific uh, community college is that because they are right, an urban campus, they offer housing off campus. So you're in the city, part of the life of what's going on, but you can walk right across the street to campus. And so I know it does say off camp, uh, housing off campus, but it is literally one block over. So it is not really technically off campus very far. Uh, Philadelphia is gets all four seasons um, in the United States. And so they will have warm summer, months and cold snow in the winter. So you'll get to see fall, spring, summer. Um, and it is a wonderful cultural city. Um, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of background about the US history and everything that's happened uh, there. So there's a ton of things to do, arts, historical events, sporting events, um, cultural events from the theater, um, everything you could possibly imagine is within walking distance of the campus. We're about a three hour train ride 
uh, to New York City and about four hours to get to Boston. So depending on if you have an interest in going to a big city, this is a great space to live in and be able to get there for the weekend. I think it's really important that everyone knows how much it might cost to attend this campus. So college tuition is roughly about $12,500 a semester. I mean, a year, that's a year. So $6,000, $6,250-ish 6, dollars dollars per semester. And that does uh, vary based on how many courses you take. So it could be a little bit less. It could be a little bit more. It just really depends. Uh, you do need to have health insurance. There's some fees uh, associated with it, which happens with technology, things like that. But uh, there's three terms that you can begin, which I think is really great because students can start in the fall, they can start in the spring, and then there's a smaller session. We don't rec necessarily recommend students wanting to start in the summer semester, but if they happen to be here in the U.S. and are wanting to take classes, they can, or if they know that they're getting into and have to take a full load of classes in a reduced amount of time, it can speed up the process of uh, getting your associate's degree. There's two different tracks. So let's say that you are attending and you don't have a great English score. You can take some ESL classes while you're taking some academic classes to make sure that you're going to be successful in learning the language, but also successful in the courses itself. They offer a variety of options for taking um, or passing your English uh, proficiency. And then there's also a placement exam on campus that you can take uh, if you have no English scores at all. So that's a really nice option to get students that might struggle with having taken a test before or might not be able to provide their English proficiency score. We have a program on the campus called American Honors and American Success. And this program is based on gearing students towards their transferring to the, their top degree choice. So your your dream university that you would get a graduate degree from and it, taking an associate's path route would be you have two years at the community college you would then transfer your degree over to um, a top ranking university or any actual university that you are choosing um, but our success coaches are there to help you they meet with you virtually um, they give you success on transfer support to give you success on essay writing to give you success on making sure you're taking the right academic classes for your session. Uh, they give you advice on how to move forward with your degree plan. Let's say that you're interested in eventually going to medical school. Well, you can't just get a degree in medicine. You get a degree in biology or chemistry, and then you're taking classes science related. They're helping you guide into what you need to study for taking your uh, MCAT. So making sure you can get into that medical degree. So, so there's a someone, a professional that's geared just towards helping you, making sure that you're taking the right classes to get all sessions um, of your courses to be able to transfer to your next university, but also to be able to set you up for exactly what degree you wish to have. There's leadership and uh, professional development. Uh, there's speech and debate to give you the opportunity to learn how to have public speaking. There's campus events. We've um, we've hosted game nights. We've hosted uh, painting classes and dinner, uh, lunch and learns, all activities that are geared towards getting you feeling culturalized with the campus and with the other classmates. Because there's so many students coming from so many countries and so many cities around the U.S., there's a lot of difference than what you would have just at your home high school. So we want to make sure you're immersed in the culture and immersed in learning. So the more engaged a student is on a campus setting, the more successful and more comfortable they are feeling that they can reach out for assistance or help. There's lots of services that on campus as well that can help students, which I think is really great from a tutoring and learning perspective, how to use the uh, library system, what books that they need to be checking out, where, where they're going to do research, how you're going to make sure that you're not plagiarizing anything, making sure that you are writing authentic work, completing your own assignments, things like that. So there's great tutoring services available. There's also campus international staff available. So they're helping you 
making sure you know where to get a bank account, how to pay your taxes if you're going to have any student work in the U.S. Uh, so there's a lot of different resources on campus that allow a student that's coming in from another country to feel right at home at the very, very beginning. Another aspect that I think is the most important space in the community college life is the transfer network. And so once you join a school, you are making a plan on where you're going to attend. So Community College of Philadelphia has a transfer network within the state of Pennsylvania that assists students to make sure that they are taking courses that other um, universities will help. But that is not limited specifically to the state of Pennsylvania. There's With your success codes, you'll be able to have transfer seminars and you'll learn all about the different universities that you're interested in, how to research in, uh, institutions and find the best fit for you, and then also assist you in application submission. So I think it really gives an all out feel and allowing everyone to come in, have a great experience while they're joining the US education system, and then setting themselves up for that great success as they're transitioning to the next university. So here's the path of a traditional um, international student that's coming to the Community College of Philadelphia. We assist in making sure that you are comfortable with where you're going. You know everything about your school. We do um, placement uh, preparation. We'll give you links to that. We'll give you aspects on how to be successful on those tests, making sure you have signed up and registered for housing so you're comfortable about housing, making sure you know exactly where you're going to land when you get into the States, how to get to campus, how to get to your housing. We want to make sure you're prepared before you even leave your work country. Then as you arrive, we want to make sure that you did check in, that you got to housing, that you got to the international office on campus, that you set up yourself for orientation, you learned about where to go to the grocery store, where to get student housing um, or student food on, on the campus, where to buy your books, things like that, how to, how to access and get around the city. There's public transportation. So all of that is making sure that you're comfortable and that you're having someone actually walk you through the steps you need to do. Then there's registering for classes. And some, some students will take honors level courses and some students will take standard level courses and some students will take ESL courses. You're all, all of the courses are working towards being successful, getting yourself set up to be successful in future academic classes and getting that degree. ESL courses are the only courses that are not geared towards college credit. You still pay for them, but you won't receive college credit towards your degree. You'll receive credit towards your ESL path to be allow you to take the standard level English or honors level English. There's um, different types of transfer activities that I mentioned previously that we'll assist with. There's a success seminar, which is setting you up to make sure that you have good study habits, make sure that you're on a path to be um, a great student to really assist you, assist you in achieving your dreams. That success coach I was talking about that's gonna talk about one from orientation and onboarding all the way through, they're gonna work with you the entire time of your program. So it's really, really great to see someone so invested in you. And I think it's a really great space to allow students to have that extra person in their corner and make sure that they're being successful. Someone's checking in on them. Being in another country, you're always used to being with your family or your friends, but then you come here and you don't know anyone. Well, it's really nice to have somebody that's like, hey, you gotta get to class on time. Did you get your assignments in? How are your grades doing? Are you got good study habits? How can I help? So this, this resource on the Community College of Philadelphia is different than most other community colleges. Uh, so it's something that really we're proud of and we think is, is a wonderful thing. Uh, integrated in the community, like I spoke before about community events, um, those game nights, uh, dinners, lunch and learns, painting classes, things that are going to get you involved uh, in the student lounge and then get you a core group of people. We do an international dinner. And then as you're growing, you start to bring other students to that. And so it's really become quite a core group of friends that you'll keep with you for your whole life. And then we assist in that, that transfer 
Uh, so the Community College of Philadelphia is a great start for your education, and they know that they're a great start. And so they really dive into that and lean in and, and really want to help you get to that next step. So a little bit about what our campus is. I mentioned it is right downtown. Uh, on the bottom left-hand side, as you'll see that same picture, this is the courtyard as people are walking. This is a great new building, which I think is really, really beautiful right in the city. This is the off-campus housing uh, on the upper left-hand side. It's called the Hamilton. And that is literally across the street. So you are walking one and a half blocks to get to the international office. You're walking two blocks to get to this building. And then for various college campus buildings, they all are city buildings. So they have been transitioned from other aspects over to the college. And so you'll have college, you'll have college classes in city buildings, which is, I think, like what a cool experience. You're right in the hub, you're right in the city. There's so much going on. And what a great place to learn. Uh, windows are fantastic. The lighting is great. Really giving you, setting yourself up for a, a fantastic place to want to come to class every day and to want to learn. Uh, when we talk about activities on the class and the, and the campus, there's also intramural sports. There's a gymnasium space that you can, students can go and work out and be uh, involved in extracurricular activities. So it's not just focused 100% on the education classroom, but also about the lifestyle that a college campus can bring to you. With those college campuses, I talked about earlier that there's more than 60 majors, and they also have certificate programs that or that range from one or two semesters in length, and they there are things like maybe dental hygiene or automotive or air conditioning, HVAC classes, things like that, but they also have applied math, which would help go into physics or engineering. And so there's really detailed programs that allow students the opportunity to find their specific major and their specific desire of what they want to do in the future and help you get there. But not every student knows exactly where they want to be when they finish. And so it's a really great opportunity to take courses at a reduced rate um, and try and see what you like. Do you excel in science? Do you excel in mathematics? And not everybody does. And some people do really well, um, but maybe a different, a different class is, is in order for you. And so it's a good opportunity to take courses and allow students to see what exactly is their passion um, and find fine tune it before they finish uh, their bachelor's degree. Then I talk about that transfer space. So we've had students that have transferred to top universities. These are some transfer universities of where students have wished to go. And some of them have gotten places. Um, we've had quite a few students come through uh, the Community College of Philadelphia through our program. And so we're really, really proud of the students and where they have transferred for. Um, this is a this is a great space of saying, oh, I've not heard of that school. Let me look into it. Let me get the world and news reports and find out where students are going and what is available to me. Are there scholarships at this school? Are there opportunities at UC Davis and, and Boston University? And so it's it's nice to see what the options are and what things students actually could uh, achieve. And so I, I think it's a great opportunity to look at this and say, these are goal sets. Like I can get to this school by taking my classes at the Community College of Philadelphia. And I can make sure that I am successful and can transfer to one of these schools because I know someone has done it in the past. There's gonna be a resource to help me. There's gonna be an opportunity for me to excel and get that high ranking degree that I've been wanting or I've been wishing for. Or my parents have wanted me to get and there's not a set path on exactly where you have to go. And so you work with your success coach and, and really work towards your goals and where it's a good space for you, location-wise, cost-wise. Is there scholarships available? Do I have any opportunity to do student work? Is there dormitories? Things that are important to you is not necessarily important to every single student, but working with the Community College of Philadelphia staff and the success coaches will help you find your path. So I'm, I think it's a really great space. I love this, um, this 
this page because of the fact that it gives people the ideas of where else they could go besides, well, I just, I didn't think about anything beyond this. So set your goals. It's a great opportunity. All right. That is all I have. Let me go back. Um, thank you, Aspen. Yeah. I... Yeah. I know we already have one question written in and I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of the students in so that they can unmute themselves and ask questions. Can you hover over my box and hit the three dots? Yep. Okay, great. So the first question for a bachelor's degree, do students need to have four stream subjects besides English on first and second year of high school? Students need to have three years of transcript ability. Um, and that means that they need to have courses that are academically geared for three years. And so not necessarily you need to have these specific ones freshman and sophomore year, but you need to have three years that you can prove on transcripts that you have taken some academic courses in, in all of those years. The most important are the last two years where you can show your upward trend of a GPA. Awesome. Well, all students should now have the ability to unmute and ask their question. So go ahead and ask live if you'd prefer, or you can always write, write into the Q&A or chat if you feel more comfortable. Thank you all for being here today. It's really great. I love talking about uh, Community College of Philadelphia and I love talking to students. And so it's a really fun opportunity for me to connect with you. Uh, so I know you must have some questions. Anybody? Oh, okay. We've got some questions popping in. First, do they offer language degrees or courses, especially French? They do offer degree, an associate's degree in a language. Uh, Spanish, French, and German were the last um, opportunities that I saw. With the opportunity that uh, you are trying to take courses that will transfer to the next space. So you want to make sure you're taking an associate of science in that, in, in that space. And so you will take majority of your classes in general education, but you will take language classes um, as well. So uh, French, Spanish, and German are the opportunities. Um, there are music degrees. We have an entire music program. Um, I can get you some more detailed information about what programs are available um, within our music field. Um, but I, off the top of my head, I don't have how many there are. I think there's six, but I don't know exactly what the names of all of them are. So let me get your information and send that over to you. Scholarship Great. opportunities. There are scholarship opportunities for international students, uh, but they're not necessarily guaranteed at the time of application. You're, they do uh, additional essay writing space. Um, and so students would have an essay that they submit. And I have seen application uh, students get essays uh, so I'm sorry, students get scholarships, $250 up to $1,000. So it really just depends on where uh, your level is coming in. And it is already a very reduced tuition in comparison to other spaces. Awesome. And we have another question going back language courses. Are students able to do a language degree without any science or math course or is it more of like a minor situation? No, you won't have, you have to take those general education classes. So you do have to have math. You do have to have science. You do have to have all of the general courses to be able to get your degree. And so it's not a minor in French, but it is not geared towards only French courses. Mechanical engineering, we have, we have an engineering pathway, but we don't have specified for mechanical because what you want to do is make sure you're taking courses that are transition transferability 
to other universities. So you don't want to be geared so fo laser focused on just mechanical. Uh, we talked about the scholarship opportunities, uh, essay based, and so students would have an opportunity to write an essay and get scholarships from $250 to $1,000. Right, that was rapid fire. What other questions do we have today? All right, well, if we don't have any other, oh, another question. Uh, you know, when do we start applying? You can apply today. That's another opportunity. To, uh, we can get you the application or you can talk to your student advisor on study me and they can start asking for all your documents, things that you need to apply for Community College of Philadelphia. Um, you need to have your passport. You need to have um, your two years of transcripts. If you have an English score available, uh, that would be helpful. And if you don't have one, we can get you set up to take that placement test, but we'll make sure that the um, student advisor on StudyMe reaches out to you to set you up to, to be able to apply. Their deadline to begin in the fall semester is uh, coming up. So you have about three weeks to fill out your application and make sure that you have your I-20. Uh, you'll need a bank statement and um, financial affidavit to show that you have enough funds to take courses. Um, and then you can be issued an I-20. We have visa preparations services that can assist you and make sure you're prepared for a visa and arrival on campus. So I'm excited to see you're interested in applying. Awesome, and back to the question about the, the four stream subjects besides English, that seems to be um, still a little bit of confusion around. Can you go over again what stream subjects they will need for a bachelor's degree? For a bachelor's degree, you need 120 total credits in education uh, classes. So you need to have your major courses, which would be if you were studying uh, science and you were studying biology, you would be taking science and chemistry and biology one and biology two and things like that. But you're also taking your humanities courses, you're taking your mathematics courses, you're taking your general education um, elective courses, which is some students can take bowling and some students can take um, fine arts courses, but you're going to build out your 120 total credits to get a bachelor's degree. In that, there's usually 45 of those credits are geared at uh, three credits a piece are geared towards your major specific. So you would take 45 credits in science or you would take 45 credits in French. So there's an opportunity to make sure that students are getting a well-rounded education. In some classes, you'll feel like, I'm not gonna use this, and then you fall in love with the class and you might have a different path towards finishing your degree. We do accept the IELTS. Uh, for the honors level, you need to have a 6.0, and for um, the, uh, for for American success, you need to have 5.0, but if you don't have an IELTS that's of, of that score, you can always take that placement exam. Awesome. We also have a question about the SAT. It is not required. Awesome. Well, really great questions. Anyone else have any questions for Aspen? Well, 
Well, like I mentioned, I'm really, really excited to be able to talk to you all, meet you all. If you have questions, please do reach out, uh, connect with your success advisor. I think it's really, really exciting to be able to go over uh, the options and have someone assist you in your application. Uh, it, it's a great opportunity. Awesome. And before we wrap up, we have one more question about minimum and maximum GPA. The minimum GPA to get in is a 2.0 on the U.S. scale. So there's not a maximum GPA you can have. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you, Aspen. And thank you to all the students who have joined us today. We were on the study me side of things. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.